so we have the marauder back she is all cleaned up and nice and 10 out of 10 as usual always go into kelly's customs for any work everything is ready to go and we're going to get her inspected and we're going to continue doing all the work and get the supercharger on here so what we got going right now is i'm doing some logs not only am I logging idle, I'm also doing some logging for the mass airflow tables, for the failed mass airflow tables. Uh, just checking everything, doing finalizations on this program, and also finding a few hardware errors. We got a slight misfire at low idle, and that may be a spark plug wire or something like that. But we're making our way no matter what. So there are a few different things that change this tune up of course we're on a higher content e85 again because the pump content is changing and i'll have two different tunes for that but everything overall seems to be working pretty good we just have to make some tweaks so i went ahead and tested my old wires and went ahead and bought four nine millimeter racing wires this time around some of these spark plug wires I tested had inconsistent impedance all over the place. Now you look at these, they're nice, they're high quality, they're labeled. Uh, hell, I'm going to put those in. I was seeing that light, very light misfire. It wasn't even a full misfire. You could drive everywhere. I, I drove this car across the desert and everywhere else. And I was like, I need to get in here and look at this. So I needed to go out, get in the engine, see what was really going down because something was making a misfire plugs are brand new and i get tired of that misfire those plugs were oem ford plugs they weren't original ford plug wires but they were from uh, the you know the oem ones you can buy online and they were ford wires but they seem to be bad they didn't last that long not sure what or why maybe they were a defective set i have seen reviews where they didn't last that long so we're going to go ahead and put these wires in and hopefully we'll actually see a difference so that's what i'm doing right now i will have a video coming up so i want you guys to stay tuned of course for the marauder i've got to do some cleanups over there and we're also getting in touch with maximum motorsports so we can get all the bottom suspension on the mustang knocked out so i'm really looking forward to everything that we got going out here it's taking a little bit of time but i'm actually fast tracking a lot of the work that i got to do so that we can knock it all out bmr sent all the suspension for the bottom of this white cobra so i will actually be getting started on tearing into that probably up on my return and we'll have new a-arms new uh, ball joints new uh, bushings and every you know the full nine yards so hey we're ready and we're doing some things here and that's why i couldn't even make the autocross today it's because we needed to make sure that we got everything on this car knocked out and make sure we got the marauder back and we'll go over her and do some tlc as well uh, both guys are ready for their oil change pretty soon so we'll be doing that as also and hey man it's just it's just a lot of different things going on out here and I just want to be able to make sure that we fast track everything at one time. It's hard to do it on this schedule, but hey, every now and then you, you just got to get down in there and get down and dirty, even if we do a little bit of work. Now, if you remember, we swapped the Mercury Marauders fan out because we wanted to go ahead and move the Mustang style fan in. So we took all the guts off the Mustang fan the motor the the it doesn't have a controller but the marauder fan does have a speed controller and we moved them over well we took the shroud out so it could fit the supercharger and i reassembled this with the the new motor from the mustang fan that adtr provides well guess what we have a mustang out here that needs a fan now that fan works but that fan's bearings are going as they always do in these older fans uh, these aftermarket fans, I would love to find an OEM fan motor for it, but that's team to be difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to use recycling and this brand new fan motor that came with the Mustang fan that I stuck in the old Marauder Shroud is going to go on the Mustang. And you know, that makes a lot of sense. You save money. I don't have to buy another fan motor yet. I do want an OEM fan motor and I will continue searching for one. But you don't want this fan to go out on you while you're, you know, you're trying to send them ponies to the ground. So obviously, hey, I have a fan motor that is brand new, has not been used. 
it's going in the cover because that's where it's needed. So it, this is just a common sense thing at this point. So that's a thing that I'll also be doing here as far as updates go as we're moving everything along. As you can see, I've got the wires laid out. We're about to do the wire, wire routing so that we can get her all buttoned up and looking nice. I'm going to route these wires above the supercharger likely just because of the heat at the alternator on the wires and we may want to avoid that. So she's sitting out here. She needs a bath. So we're also going to end up giving everybody a bath. And I also will be doing a teardown on this 4R70W transmission. This 4R70W transmission was in the 97 Green Cobra, and it has over 252,000 miles on it. A lot of boost and a lot of time. I did a valve body for it myself, and that's the only thing it ever had in it. That valve body is not in it, so when we do the teardown, that'll make things a little bit easier. I just need a set of snap ring pliers and safety glasses so you don't put your eyes out taking snap rings out of the transmission. But we're going to do that pretty soon, so that video will be coming up in due time along with the other updates. Got this going. If anybody needs a starter, totally have a starter for the Mustangs. It's, it's yours. If you need one, I'm trying to get rid of a lot of extra parts and stuff I have and recycling some items or selling things off that are unnecessary. So all in all, we've got a few different things out there. Uh, this fan, I'm going to go ahead and get this fan out of here also so that we can replace that. So that that will be brand new because I did have to replace the wiring harness. And when that fan starts going bad, it will start burning out your wire harness. And you don't want to have to replace your wire harness all over again.